Hey everybody, welcome back to One Seed, One World. So today we're gonna to talk about the Tromboncino uh, zucchini, which is uh, this kind of crazy looking zucchini, or squash, I should say. Um, looks kind of like that as it grows. Um, so the Tromboncino squash comes from the Liguria region of Italy. That's where it originated from. And um, then around 1863, this guy named Fearing Burr um, introduced it to the United States. Fearing Burr was a horticulturalist, uh, kind of an expert seed guy uh, from Massachusetts. And he wrote a book called The Field and Garden Vegetables of America. Uh, along with some other books that he uh, co-wrote, uh, I think like on the Civil War and, and, and some other things. Um, but he's the one that brought it from Italy to America, got introduced here. The cool thing about the squash is while it's called Trom Tromboncino zucchini, uh, it's actually in a different species um, than what your regular zucchini would be. And so, what that means is, it's a little bit more resistant to some of the things that bother your normal zucchini. Things like the squash fine borer bug. Um, I do see squash bugs on here. Uh, they're not overly rampant, but I do see some on here. Um, it's also more resistant to things like powdery mildew. Um, also, when you pick it when it's younger, like this, when it's still green and, and anywhere from, you know, like a foot long or, I mean, this is of course longer than a foot long, but um, somewhere in that range, you treat it like a summer squash. It's very tender, has a nice, sweet, nutty, almost like a little bit artichoke-y flavor. Um, and so you can use it in all the same types of dishes that you would use a summer squash, uh, like your zucchini or yellow squash, that kind of thing. Um, but you can also leave it on the vine uh, until it matures more fully. And then it, it works like a winter squash, like a butternut. It's actually in the same family as uh, the butternut squash, or I'm sorry, it's in the same species as butternut squash, uh, the Long Island cheese pumpkin, things like that. Uh, so it's more hardy when it comes to storing over winter if you let it mature completely on the vine. Or, like I said, you can pick it young and it's super delicious, super tender. Uh, I would say it's, it's better than your, like a, a regular zucchini um, in flavor and tenderness, just all the way around. Uh, I picked some last week and, and we had them on the grill. They were just really good. Grilled them up with some onions and butter. Today, I'm picking the ones that are in here and we are gonna make some tromboncino bread um, in the similar fashion that you would make zucchini bread. So now that you got a little bit of the history on what this plant is, let's go make some bread. Uh, oh, one last note with these. They, unlike your standard zucchini, which is more of a stay in place kind of thing, these are a vining squash, just like butternut squash. And the vines do get quite long. Um, so you will want probably either a lot of room or some trellising for them, like I have a hoop trellis here and it has kind of come up over half of it and now it's getting a little unruly on me and I've got to get it retrained to start going more over the top. Um, but I got a couple more to cut out of here and then let's go make some bread. Thank you. 
Thank mm-hmm. you.